I see you, Joshua speaking. This is Joshua? Yes. Okay, hi. This is Beverly. I'm Ken's wife. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to check, see how he is. Um, he kind of had a rough night. He still hasn't slept. And wow. It definitely shows because he's still pretty confused. Right. Like he was yesterday. So that really hasn't changed. The transplant team came in and put a Dobhoff tube in, which is a tube that goes into your nose and past your stomach. I think they may start tube feeds on him to start getting his strength back. Um, his belly tube they tied off because that looked good. So he doesn't, he's down one drain. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, so far that's all that has changed. And they're going to do that, um, they're going to drain some fluid, I guess, checking for infection. Yeah, what they called doing? you for that. Yeah. They told me they were going to come do it at the bedside. Just no one's been by yet. They've called me to ask me, you know, right. if they could come. And I said yes, but no one's come by yet. And I assume that's the test for infection? Yes. Okay, I had a feeling that. Yeah, uh, his white count isn't terribly elevated. It's like nine, which isn't higher than normal. But, you know, he is immunosuppressed, so that can be masked. Um, and I think maybe they're thinking maybe with the confusion, but the confusion I see a lot of times in liver patients who just don't get enough sleep, they get like this too. Yeah, I can see that being. And um, what did you say? Something mass? I don't understand what that one thing you said. I heard the, the word the mass. White count, his white oh. count was normal. Right. The normal limit. But sometimes when, you know, you're immunocompromised, uh -huh. giving him meds to suppress his immune system, sometimes your white count won't elevate very high if you do have an infection. Oh, I see. But he hasn't had any fevers with me and his white count is normal. Um, and his blood cultures came back negative, so. Yeah, you know, the Friday before he had um, the transplant, he was admitted because of confusion, and they were afraid maybe he had an infection going on. And they did the same thing, and they found, and again, they said the white cells are fine, there's no fever, but they still felt like they needed to test it, and there was nothing. So I really don't think there's anything. I really think he just needs sleep. Have you guys thought about giving him, like, um, a sleep aid? They typically don't. Uh, the new lovers. Gotcha. At this facility, different facilities different, do different things. They typically don't at this facility, but he was wide awake all night. Um, he took like a 15 minute nap and he was a little more pleasant afterwards. Mm -hmm. See, but, what, me, but they've been in there messing with him since then. So. The thing is, with what you guys don't know is about Ken, is the fact that one, he is, it's not just a confusion. He is totally not him. Like, he's a real soft-spoken person. He doesn't speak loud like he was last night. And he never, ever, ever curses. I mean, he can step on a nail and he won't say shit or damn, you know? Like, and he was throwing the F word around like crazy last night. Yeah. So it's just totally not him, you know, besides the confusion part. I mean, it's just not even him. I mean, you know... He doesn't sound like him. He's not at all like he normally is. Um, anyway, I just wanted to let you know, I feel really bad. I'm usually there all the time, but I'm having such a conflict. My kid, my daughter and her, my two grandkids are in from Arizona. <clears throat> I haven't spent any time at all with them. But I, so I ended up taking yesterday off, except they came in in the evening. And then today I have to take them to the airport. So the plan was to not come in until later tonight after I dropped them off at the airport, but now their flight keeps getting delayed. Now, it was 5, then it got delayed to 7, and now they just contact them and it's delayed to 8.15. So I don't know whether I'm actually even going to make it into the hospital today. Well, I asked if you were coming in, and maybe he was lucid for that part because he said no, he didn't think so today because he had stuff with his daughter. That's what he said. Good, good. Yeah, I've been trying to prep him because, you know, he's used to me always being there and I just didn't want him to think that, you know, I... I'd... Yeah, well, I was like, is your wife coming in? He's like, usually she does, but not today because I think something's going on with my daughter. And I was like, okay. Oh, wow. So that's great, yeah. Because yeah. I had told him yesterday, so he actually remembered. That's awesome. All right, yeah. Well, yeah. I asked him where he is about 5% of the time, he'll say Jefferson. The other time, he says somewhere with lanes of trees. I don't know. Yeah. But I you know. remember that you weren't going to be here for that, so uh, maybe he listens to you. <laughs> yeah, that's really strange. Um, but you can always call and check in on him. Yeah, I appreciate it, Mansi. And then I'll be in in the morning for sure. And then I'll be okay. in every day from then on. I mean, I can't wait to be able to, I just feel more comfortable being there as opposed yeah, to this. I understand. But I feel also my daughter's like pulling me in the other direction. It's hard. <laughs>
And I want to see the grandkids, obviously. I mean, I don't yeah. see them but once a year. Well, and sometimes you need to have a little mental break for yourself. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. So I appreciate it a lot, Josh. Um, how about, has the catheter still in? Yes. Okay. And um, they're not thinking about put. oh, how about, uh, one more, I'm sorry, the oxygen. Have they lowered that yet? No. Oh. And they're not considering putting a breathing tube in again, are they? Um, that has not been discussed. They just got an ABG to look how his oxygenation is doing. Okay. Because we really haven't been able to, the, the, ox, the amount of oxygen he's getting is the same as it was last night, but the amount of flow that, like the push of it has increased today. And it's mainly when he gets so very agitated, he starts yelling a lot, and he just doesn't breathe as well. Right. So hopefully we can get that back down as well. So we'll know more after the blood gas comes back. And when, how long will that be, you think? Uh, 30 minutes to an hour. All right. Well, then maybe I'll just call you back maybe around 3 just to see how things are going. Okay. In that's a couple fine. hours. Would that be all right? Yep, that's fine. All right. Thanks. That's very nice of you. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Okay.